Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast. And of course, with it being Monday's show, we're going to be looking back at news from across the weekend. That usually means it's very busy and I have a lot to talk about, but not this month. Alan Nixon was quite quiet and he normally churns out a lot of stuff at the weekend. Um, and this weekend he didn't for Burnley. Uh, most of his stories are about other clubs. But we do have some stuff, obviously. And the main thing surrounding the club at the minute is still the manager's search as we enter what I think is the fourth week now um, of the search. Um, but it's looking like we're getting there. It's looking like we'll have something pretty soon. Obviously, I, there's been no mentions of a date or anything yet, but with it being in the third or fourth week, whichever it is, and a lot of the noise now surrounding Rude Van Nistelrooy looking like it's more and more likely that it will be him. So fingers crossed we get that sorted this week. However, it's not all plain sailing as we'll get into. Um, but first of all, we'll start off with Sasha Tovalera. He says that Ruud van Nistelrooy is Burnley's first choice and there have been several meetings between the parties. In his tweet, he said, FC Burnley has Ruud van Nistelrooy for first choice. As revealed here, first on the 19th of June, Ruud van Nistelrooy has always been an important target for the Clarets. Train aside waiting, in brackets, after several meetings for final decisions to take place next week. But Van Nistelrooy's man has always been to take the first team again head coach unless Manchester United interest to be Ten Hag's assistant wait and see. So it's looking like Rude is our first choice and Rude wants Burnley. So to me, that just suggests get it done. Obviously, Sasha mentions there that Burnley will be making a decision this week but it sounds like we want him it sounds like we want us yes they will have to sit down and and decide whether or not they definitely do want him but it looks like you do lads so get the contract on the table and get him to sign it because I am quite excited about the prospect of Ruud van Nistelrooy being the Burnley manager again as I've said on another show I'm not sure if I'm being suckered into a name slightly there but he has said some well he hasn't said some stuff there's been some quotes in a newspaper which have quite excited me as well and I will get onto that in a second just after we finish this Ruud van Nistelrooy chat for this one because also the Mirror reported this week that, um, I'll, 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 I'll read out what I tweeted from the report. Uh, Ruud van Nistelrooy has had a second meeting with Burnley over the vacant manager's role. The Mirror have reported the Dutchman is keen on the Burnley job and has been looking for an opportunity to work in England. So the reports from the Mirror and the reports from Sasha match up right there's been more than one meeting we'd heard something like that last week that Alan Pace was doing the second third round of meetings with some candidates and now it's looking like Ruben van Nistelrooy is one of them and according to the reports he wants to be the Burnley manager and we want him as the Burnley manager however like I said it's not been all plain sailing and it was Fabrizio Romano that tweeted this and again it matches up something similar with what uh, Sasha was saying. Now, he was saying that there is interest from Manchester United for Ruud van Nistelrooy to join their coaching staff because, of course, they've decided to keep hold of Eric Ten Hag when it looking like he was probably going to get sacked. But Eric Ten Hag, will, Ten Hag sorry, will be staying as manager of Manchester United, but he is looking for new backroom staff. Now, according to Fabrizio Romano, Ruud van Nistelrooy has been approached to be part of Eric Ten Hag's new staff at Manchester United. He tweets, up to van Nistelrooy now as he's also a strong candidate to be the new Burnley manager to replace company. Decision next week. Again, Fabrizio Romano, Sasha Tovalera. And even though me and Sasha have had um, a bit of history, I think I'll just, just leave it at that. Um, they're both quite reliable, uh, I think it's fair to say. Sasha and Fab and Fab is literally the goat of it all. Well, him and Ornstein are both saying that the decision will play, take place next week. Now, they both tweeted this Sunday, so that to me says decision this week. So, fingers crossed, we get the fixtures on Wednesday, we get some pre-season friendlies soon, we get the manager on Thursday, and we get the new shirt out. What a week that would be, please, if you're listening. But yeah, I think a lot of people are panicking a little bit actually let's get serious again a lot of people are panicking actually about this Manchester United link and now for me he wants to manage in England right so I think Sasha mentioned in his tweet unless he's the assistant at Man United he will want to be Burnley or that's how I've paraphrased what Sasha said anyway 
I'd be shocked if he's offered the assistant role at United. Um, I think Ten Hag probably, I mean, obviously we've just done it a different way, but Ten Hag will probably have his own people that he already wants to work with. And, and even if he is, like the way I see it, he will make a bigger name for himself as a coach, manager, whatever you want to call it, if he comes into Burnley and gets us promoted than what he will if he just goes and sits behind Ten Hag at Manchester United, even if they do well. Even if they do well under Ten Hag now, which I can't see personally, they've, they've not really shown me too much in two years that he's been there. But even if they start doing well under Ten Hag and he's the assistant, I can't see his, you know, his reputation really soaring on that. Whereas if he came into Burnley, got us promoted again and did what company couldn't do and kept us up, then his reputation will will go through the roof, just like Vincent Companies did. I still staggered how we got the Bayern Munich job, but that's the sort of role that you can be getting after doing well with Burnley, it seems now. And a lot of people do do sit there and say, I don't want Van Nistelrooy because he'll do what he did, what company did to us. He'll use us as a stepping stone. I think it's the modern way these days. We have been spoiled with managers that have stayed for nine, nearly ten years in Daesh, and I think company, we all expected him to not do similar because that was you know, a one-off, to be fair, with Daesh, but to be at least here for, for minimum five years, four or five years. So I think we, it is the modern way, especially for Club like Burnley. Players have done it for years. Like They, they come to us and then they get sold on. I just think it's the modern way. And with us going down the head coach route and potentially director of football route, we might have to get used to seeing managers only for two, three years, but that's that's what most managers do these days. They stick around for two, two, three years and, and then they're either sacked or they move on. If they're moving on, it shows that they've done well. So I'd rather Rude Van Nistelrooy have been moving on in two years than we getting sacked in 18 months because that means that we've done well under him. But to summarise, Rude Van Nistelrooy is Burnley's first choice. There have been several meetings between Rude Van Nistelrooy and Alan Pace. Um, however, we are a little bit worried... Um, that Manchester United are looking at him. I'll just, there's something else that I do want to mention. I mentioned earlier the reason why I'm excited about Rude as well is because there's been some quotes in a newspaper, not quotes, sorry, some information in a newspaper, and it was the report that I've just mentioned from the Mirror. I'll just quickly get it up. It says here, Van Nistelrooy, 47, met with club owner Alan Pace to outline his plan on how he would succeed Vincent Kompany after the Belgian quit to become the Bayern Munich manager. The former Manchester United striker developed a reputation for bringing through homegrown talent during a one-year spell at PSV Eindhoven, which saw him take the Dutch club back to the Champions League. Now, I'll be honest with you, I haven't looked too much into what Ruud van Nistelrooy has done as a manager. Everybody keeps telling me that he's not done much. If he's taken PSV Eindhoven back into the Champions League, that's more than what company did when company joined us. Um, van Nistelrooy, in his meetings, according to the Mirror, outlined his philosophy to Alan Pace and also described how he already has compiled a huge database of young players who he feels will be good enough for Burnley at bargain basement prices. That excites me. If he can come in and get a load of young Dutch prodigies, bring them through, and we can have a Dutch revolution at Turf Moor, I would absolutely love that. And that does excite me a little bit. But yeah, just going back to the summary, Rude Burnley's first choice, several meetings between the clubs. There has been contact with Manchester United, though, but he does want to manage in England, and it is apparent he's more... He wants the manager's role more than an assistant role or more than a coaching staff role. So, as Sasha said on his tweet, wait and see. But it's looking more and more likely that it'll be Ruud van Nistelrooy. Sticking with the manager's search, one of the other main candidates for Burnley is, of course, Craig Bellamy, who is currently the acting head coach or whatever the actual title is at the minute, while the lads are all returning for, for pre-season over the next few days, actually. I believe I believe they'll be coming back today, I think I heard. Um, but if not, certainly over the next week and definitely next week as well. But I'm pretty certain some of the lads, not all, some of the lads are coming back this week and Craig Bellamy will be the acting head coach while they are there. Um, according to Guardian Sport, he is set to be considered for the Wales job after Rob Page was sacked last week or this weekend, whenever it was. Now, I've just had a quick look of the odds and Craig Bellamy is currently second favourite for the manager's job at Wales at 3-1. to one. However, 
He's also currently the second favourite for the Burnley manager, with Rude being the favourite at 13-8. to eight. So according to the bookies, he is more likely to become the Burnley manager than he is to become the Wales manager, just based on them prices. But he is the second favourite in both markets. I think if he doesn't get the manager's job at Burnley, he will leave. And I think most Burnley fans wouldn't be grudging going somewhere like Wales. Like I would, I've said it before. If we get a new manager in like Rude, I'd like to keep Craig as part of maybe the assistant or or whatever, however they want to structure it. Because, of course, I know they've got this first team assistant head coach or whatever it is, first team assistant coach uh, that, we, that we talked about last week in Henrik Jensen. But, of course, Craig, like I said before, that could leave room for somebody else to be an assistant head coach or whatever, however they want to structure it. Whatever the new structure is, I wouldn't mind seeing Bellamy part of it. But if he's offered the Wales job or offered to be part of that setup. Don't begrudge him at all being part of that. And I think I think Wales are going to have to go through a transition period, though, at the minute, because they've been pretty dreadful. Apologies to any Welsh Clarets fans listening. I know there's a couple, uh, but they've been pretty dreadful, to be fair. And it's no surprise to see Rob Page get sacked. But it'll be a difficult job, that, for Craig. I think it'll be a difficult job. But if that's what he wants to do, fair play. I'd like to see him stay. But if he doesn't get the manager's job, I would suspect he would probably leave. Um, but that's it for today's show. Like I said, not too much out there at the minute, but a lot of it circling now on the manager. It's all circling Ram Rude Van Nistelrooy. And that tells me that hopefully, because Sasha and who else was it? Uh, two of the lads, Fabrizio, Sasha and Fabrizio both said that we will have a decision next week, which they tweeted that on Sunday. So that tells me this week. So fingers crossed, we'll get a decision this week. Obviously, when we'll do, we'll be doing a live stream. I tried to get a live stream done this weekend, but none of the lads were free. If the lads aren't free for when the manager's announced or that night, I'll do it by myself. Don't you worry. We will have a live stream. Hopefully it's not Wednesday, because I'm working till midnight on Wednesday. But apart from that, happy, happy days. We'll do it whenever. Actually, not today, because I'm working till midnight today, not Tuesday, because England are playing. So if you're watching this, Alan, um, there's, Friday's best for me. If you want to announce the manager on Friday, that's best for me, and we'll do a live stream pretty much as soon as it's announced. But yeah, big week, fixtures on Wednesday, hopefully new manager. Let me know what you think in the comments below about all the talking points today. Are you happy with Rude? Are you disappointed that Craig could be going to... Wales, are you worried about this Man United link? I'm not. Genuinely, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I think he'll, he will make the right decision to be a manager somewhere rather than be assistant. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be back tomorrow.